Using sliders to explore functions and we'll start in graph and table uh, and here we want to put this function in and explore the effects of P and Q on the graph of this parabola so we need the keyboard up and uh, uh, where are we variables here we go so brackets x minus P close the brackets to the power of 2 squared plus Q uh, and there it is. So when we tap execute, ClassPad tidies it up. So our next job is um, there are, of course, under type. I meant to mention. Uh, sorry, under the here, there's a load of built-in functions that we could use to explore function as well to save you typing in. Um, but we we're going with um, this function over here now to actually graph it. Rather than tap the normal graph icon, we'll tap the one underneath file. And when we do so, um, a slider adjusters appear here and the graph is downstairs. So I'm going to tap resize and then move the sliders out the way just by dragging them with the uh, cursor pen down to somewhere out the way. Now let's have a look at what's actually happening. So if I tap uh, to increase P here, uh, we can see that the function is moving to the right. And if I tap to the left, it's moving to the left. If I tap um, to increase Q, we can watch the function go up. And as I tap to decrease Q, we can watch it go down. And so we get this sort of relationship between these variables and the position of the parabola. We can change these settings. At the moment, they're going from negative 10 to 10 on both variables. But um, by tapping on to the options here and choosing settings, we can choose either slider 1 for P or slider 2 for Q and modify them. Let's take the one for Q and modify to maybe um, negative 3 to 3, negative 3 uh, to 3. Uh, and we don't have to go in steps of 1. We could go in an increment of 0.5 maybe on that one and then tap OK. And now when I increment Q, here we go, you can see it's now moving in steps of a half. And Dan and um, the other thing we can do is tap on the options and choose auto play and let's auto play on the Q variable and you can see it goes very quickly on my class pad manager software here it's quite a bit slower on the handheld but it just automatically cycles several times through uh, changing the Q parameter there um, if you want to stop it because you're getting tired of it auto playing you normally hold your tap onto escape or keep your finger on the clear button over here to stop that and to remove the sliders we can either tap the cross here or simply close the whole graph window with the cross at the top.